Hello all, welcome to this tutorial on hair in Blender, where we will create hair on human scalp and give dynamics to it. First things first, to create hair on any surface we need separate out the mesh or surface on which we would like to make hair. In this example we will take this human character and separate the scalp from the rest to create hair on the scalp. For this select the body of the character containing the scalp in object mode and then go to edit mode. Select face select and then press C to activate circle select. Using circle select we select all the faces forming the scalp. Then separate out the selected faces from the mesh by right-clicking and selecting separate, and then choosing selection. This will form a new object. Go back to object mode and name this mesh as scalp. To create hair select the scalp object and create a particle system by going to particle properties and add a particle system by clicking on the plus button. Choose hair in the newly created particle system. This will create several hair with large length. To change length, under emission, set hair length to 0.13. To create more hair go to children option and select interpolated which will create child particles. Blender provides ways to edit the hair, so that we can give it the shape and the look we need. For this go to Particle Edit Mode. On the left we see many options related to editing the hair. The first one is Comb. On activating this we can comb hair just as we do using real comb like so. Next if we want to smoothen the hair we can do so using this option. For adding new hair we can use add option. For increasing length of hair use the length option. For puffing hair use puff option.
Cut is for cutting the hair. Use weight option to change density of hair using strength value. Let's now give dynamism to hair, so that when character moves the hair follow through just as they would in real world. For this enable hair dynamics. This is how the simulation looks like when we play animation. We can see that the hair is lot more loose and springy. To fix this let us have a look at some of hair dynamics settings. Leave the quality to 5 which will be the quality of hair simulation. You can also leave the rest of the settings to be default. Change pin goal strength to 2. This will make hair a bit more stiff. This is how the animation looks like. We can now bake the hair animation. Let's have a look at the rendered animation. If you like the video please like it and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.